What is up, and it's going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Game of Thrones Total War House Start Campaign. <laughs> As I was saying, welcome back to the submod for Westeros Alpha 0 0.53. Now, I want to start recording before I get too far ahead of you guys. So, now, uh, we've rallied up the troops, we've got John Umba, we've got, um, Roos Bolton, um, <laughs> we've got Rob. And uh, we have got car stacks. We've got four stacks, and it's roughly uh, what's that? roughly about four thousand troops. And we're going to be taking out the Golden Tooth and Hornvale very shortly. And I do believe that the Lannisters have this settlement here as well. I think that's the last of them. Um, nothing really too much happening everywhere else. It's a rebel army. I need to deal with. I need to deal with them later on. Um, yeah, nothing really too much has happened. We're, we're allies with the Tullys, the Greyjoys, and the Tyrells. Um, actually, I just want to quickly show you the family tree. Uh, so if you want to have a look at it, that's Rob's son, Artos, come of age. Walton Stark, come of age. I think Gowen Stark's about to come of age as well. Rickon's children. Ah, Edaria must be coming of age soon. I'm going to marry her off to uh, Lord Dunbar. I'm still surprised Roos... Roos Bolton hasn't had a child yet. He's probably going to live for, unless he dies in battle, he's probably going to live to around the 70th mark, I would imagine, because at the moment, uh, I might as well just go to Winterfell before we find out. Rick, Roderick Castell's 72 years old. Mm. And the Starks are coming of age. When's the uh, seas? Artos is the heir, really, instead of Brandon. Um, but yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking out the last of the Lannisters. I'm going to actually send my spy. Do they have... Ah, the Tyrells. They have Casterly Rock and Lannisport. Ah, but they have... Case. Hmm. I'm actually going to have a look at the Tyrells. Who's like... Oh, perfect. I added up. <laughs> Military. The Tyrells. Bloody hell. They have nearly double us. Who's that? The Greyjoys. Luckily we're both allies with the Tyrells and the Greyjoys. Martell's going down a bit. Um, production. Territory. Financial. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Martell's just boom! Shot up. Population. Overall. Military. Territory. We're, we're smashing the territories. We have the... It's because we have the Vale. Uh, we have Arden, so and we got the North as well. But once we take out the Lannisters, uh, I would imagine that we're going to take over Stannis because he owns King's Landing, and uh, we'll rally because we're allies with the Tyre. Oh, who are the enemies? Yeah, everyone. We'll probably go for Stannis, take King's Landing because then we've got enough power to actually hold it. Ah, oh, Bride, Artos Stark. Why not? The King of the North. <laughs> oh, faction announcements. Andres, Andrew Stark, Galway Stark. Oh, that must be Direwolf. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, whoa. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. War declared. Greyjoy. In uh oh, relationships worsen with Greyjoy. So and so. Ah, allies declare war. Never trust a Greyjoy. The Greyjoys declare war on the Tyrells. Well, the Tyrells. Like, actually, we're just showing looking at the military stats. They're the biggest faction in the game, so I'm gonna actually go inside with the Tyrells. Lance in Tassas. So it looks like we're going to war with the bloody Greyjoys. Um, I have some ships up at Flinders Flint. We might as well recruit. Oh, we can't recruit anymore. Hmm, because we're gonna need an army to attack the Iron Islands. Once we push them off the mainland, hmm. we'll, we'll take we'll get rid of the last of the Lannisters so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, we'll take yeah okay we'll get Roose Bolton. Actually we'll get Rob to the besiege besiege the Golden Tooth, and we'll have John Umba to back him up. We'll send Roose Bolton to attack. Um, actually no. How far can Karl Stark go? 
Because Brandon's there with his two sons. I might actually do a quick save because a lot of stuff's happened <laughs> in this uh, this turn. We're going to actually... No, I think about it. Because there's a full stack there. I'd rather take him out. I'd rather not leave Karstark and... Yeah. How, big, how big's the army there? Who is it? Damon Broom. Okay, we're going to end the turn. We got more ships. I was sending those ships to Dragonstone to block the port because I, I do believe it was a mission we get like a thousand coins. So why the hell not? Uh oh, looks like there's two stacks at the Golden Tooth. We might actually send our four stacks. I was gonna attack the Golden, uh, the two settlements uh, at the same time. Yeah, look at that, Tyrell, 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 Tyrell. New family member, Wendell, Stark. Ah, Rob's, Rob's a grandfather. <laughs> Rob Stark, yeah, oh, has a grandson, yeah. Thirteen, she's nearly born. So is Brandon's. Wow, there's a lot of Starks coming. Rickon's are getting there, but... 32. How old is Rob now? 33 years old. God bless him. <laughs> okay, looks like we're going to be taking... There's going to be a massive battle at the Golden Tooth. I'm going to send up... Roost Bolton's army just to push the odds in our favour. Oh, we pushed him out of the battle. That's hilarious. Hmm. We'll bring that spy back around. How many men do they have at the Golden Tooth? There's a full stack there, and the Tyrells are going to help us as well. That's good. I could. Hmm. I could. Yeah. Now we'll we'll attack this settlement. I'll auto resolve it. There's what. Thirty-two thousand men versus a thousand, and there's going to be definitely more battles, so it shouldn't really matter too much. I'm sorry if you wanted to see that battle. It would have just been a besiege and it, we've done countless besieges to be honest. But now we can kind of push. We'll definitely do the Battle of Hornvale. We want to get a good footing before the Tyrells come in. Um, if we can surround them maybe. We'll go on with the Tyrells. We'll send Roose Bolton there. We've seen Car Stark to finish off them, Brandon. Lord Umbar. How far can he move up? He can move up there. We'll send Umbar there. And uh, we'll leave Rob. Uh, we'll just leave a garrison just in the Golden Tooth. Where can we put this? We'll put this guy around just to... Yeah, that'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll go from the... <clears throat> it's the Tyrells, because there's a, ty there's, a, there's a settlement... Just below Hornvale, we're gonna we're gonna surround the Lannisters and attack them from all sides. The Tyrells will hopefully come in and help us as well. Looks like a good strategy. Um, gonna repair a bit. All I'm just hoping now. What's our relationship with the Greyjoys? Poor, good. Welcome back guys, uh, I don't know why, but um, for some reason my game crashed, or well, I kind of know why, um, you know when on, win on Windows when they ask you to run something, oh what's it called, something administer or whatever, something popped up and it shut down Medieval 2 and stopped Fraps, and it was like Java, so I went and run, okay, and then for some reason it just crashed and just froze, which was kind of weird, but uh, nevertheless we got the battle here, um, the only thing, I lost a couple of turns, so I had to do them again. And, uh, unfortunately, Artos didn't have a son in those three turns. So that didn't happen. And the Tyrell army was moved back, so that's just a couple of things that have been different. Apart from that, we're going to be doing the Battle of Horn Vale very shortly. Uh, we're still not allied with the Greyjoys. <laughs> it, wasn't that, it was before the Greyjoys broke their... Uh, thing with us. So we're moving this lot of uh, this fleet down. I'm going to send it to Lannisport and I'm actually going to find King's Landing. There we go. The Tyrells. That's Stannis. 
I wanted to get a I want to get uh, military access for military access with um with the Tyrells so we can move through their lands to Lannisport, uh, build an army and then we can attack the Iron Islands once we've taken these settlements because we're going to be going to water them once the Lannisters are out of the game. So, um, have we got any other diplomats anywhere? That guy's... Let's send him to Harren Hall because I want to get it a... Uh... Oh, the Tyrells are actually trying to bribe the settlement. How grateful of them. Aha, here we go. Now... What? 30 men? How is that one for one when there's 3,000 reinforcements? Okay, here we go. Regard caster. Ooh, retreat. Oh. Now this is more like it. Being besieged there. Some troops. Hang on, why we're not controlling Cast Ark? We've got Roos Bolton, haven't we? They haven't got any reinforcements. What's that? Hmm. One for one. Yep, I'm gonna fight this battle. Uh I'll fight in the next episode because this episode is about to end. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Simpsy. I'm out later, my friends. Bye bye. Hey guys, just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I post a video, uh, giveaways coming up, and also when I'm playing subscribers. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel. So thanks, guys. Bye.